I'm Joe Mardaya. I'm Christina Caro, and, and this, this is San Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's latest. latest. This school has been through a lot of changes this year. How do you feel about being the Grizzlies now? I think it suits our school very well. Now, let's go to Emerson for more information on the new mascot. Hi, my name is Emerson Calderon, and today we're going to be talking about the current situation on the mascot and what people think about it. How do you feel about graduating without a mascot image? Um, it really sucks because it doesn't really, like, we're not really going to have a connection if we do get a mascot. Like, we had the Rebels for four years, and then it's gone. And, like, I'm fine with that, but it, we won't have that connection, and we won't have that, like, like, that emotion to it. Santiago, what's your opinion on the current situation on the mascot? Well, uh, I think we're all feeling really anxious to just get it dialed in. So we're here with the student from SOZ. What's your name and how long have you been here for? My name is Mario and I've been here for two years. So Mario, from the two years that you've been here, what's your opinion on the current situation on the mascot? It makes me sad because we don't have the Rebel anymore and I think it's unfair to the sports because they don't have an image to represent. Thank you, Mario. Now on to Jordan in his segment about low budget cuts. Thank you, Emerson, for that information about the mascot. Now let's change it up a little bit. Now let's talk about the low budget cuts here at SOZ. Many teachers have been laid off because of low budget cuts that the district cannot pay for. So here we are today with Ms. Bellamy, who's going to help us explain a little bit more about the low budget cuts here at SOZ. So Ms. Bellamy, how did the low budget cuts affect your job? When the district decides to um, cut positions. Um, filling up our class sizes means that students don't get the one-on-one -on -one that they need. Um, it also means that people lose their jobs when they try to lay everyone off like they did a couple of weeks ago. Here we are with Crystal Villa Gomez, a student from SOZ, who's going to give us her opinion on budget cuts. Crystal, what do you think about budget cuts? I think everyone should be paid equal and treated equal. Do you think Ms. Bellamy got treated equally? No, she's been here for many years. And so there you have it. Not only did budget cuts affect teachers, but they also affected students. Now, back to the studio. Thanks for the information on budget cuts, Jordan. Let's give a shout out to Ms. Bellamy, Ms. Rudder, and Coach Sack for pushing through it all. You guys rock. Why don't we appreciate the other great teachers at this school, too? Here's Natalie finding out the outstanding talents that teachers have. Hey, SLZ, I'm Natalie Sapon. Have you ever sat alone and thought to yourself, I wonder if teachers have talents? Yeah, me neither, but today I'll be going out to discover some of the talents our SOZ teachers have. So, Mr. Carter, I heard you in a band. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, I started playing bass when I was a sophomore in college. I moved out to California. I happened to be at a happy hour with some friends after work one day, and it turned out we each had played music in our past, and each played a different instrument, so we got together. And for 10 years now, with the same group of friends, I've been playing uh, cover material. ditch the ladies and leave them bereft. In this manner and style, he soon had compiled a fortune with which he invested in hotels and bars and fancy cigars and mayors, or some had suggested. Wow, we sure do have some talented teachers here on campus. I'm Nally Sapon, and now here's Ashlyn reporting on the Game Club. Thank you, guys. Those are some talented teachers. Did you know there was a game club on campus last year, but it wasn't as successful as this year? Let's find out about more information about this game club this year. What exactly do we do in game club? So in game club, we play games of all types and all different consoles, including PC. Um, we watch anime and film and movies, and we generally just listen to music and have a good time. What inspires you to host game club? Well, what inspired me to host Game Club was that, well, it was just me and a bunch of friends. We're sitting at lunch. We're like, we're really bored because we don't have anything to do. So we're like, we'll start a club. And that's how Game Club happened. Well, that's all we have for you on Game Club. If you want to join, be sure to consider dropping by every Friday at C8 during lunch. Now we'll pass it to Jasmine. for the information about Game Club. My name is Jasmine Ledesma, and today we're going to find out teachers' opinions on Yonder. Uh, I support the use of Yonder. Do you think it has any academic improvements? I do, actually. Uh, the biggest one that I've seen is that students aren't as distracted in class. Do you think there's any safety concerns? I don't have any. What's your opinion on Yonder? Well, I think that it is unfortunately necessary because of the level of addiction 
that not just students, I think all people have. Have you seen any academic improvement? I've seen an improvement in my classes because I don't have to be constantly telling people to put their phones away. Do you have any safety concerns? No, not really because every teacher has uh, the ability to unlock the phones. Now we know teachers' opinion about Yonder. What do you think about Yonder? Now back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Jasmine. Personally, I've seen a difference in my work performance thanks to Yonder. Me too. But if there ever were a threat at school, it would be hard for me to access my phone. Hopefully the school is safe enough for me to trust that I don't need my phone. Here's Bella reporting on school safety. Hey SLZ, I'm Isabella Martinez and today we'll be talking about the concerns of school safety due to the frequent school shootings and threats going around the nation. What's your opinion on our school safety? Um, I believe that we are working every day um, to continuously improve school safety on our campus. Um, safety is our number one priority. Obviously, if students aren't safe and don't feel safe at school and our staff feels not safe at school as well, right, teaching and learning can't take place. So there are schools that do active shooter drills. What's your opinion on that? I think that it's always great to run through drills, um, to constantly practice um, so that we're prepared for any situation. However, it, that being said, not ever will any situation be the same. Is there any concerns you have with our school safety? Yeah, I think we should have an active shooter drill just to like be sure and like in case like an active shooter just comes on campus with a gun and just starts firing. I think like with that drill that we should we should be able to know like what to do. My only concern is that if there would actually be a real threat, I don't want that to happen with all these fake threats going around and all the shootings that have been happening recently around the country. Like that's I don't want that to happen in our school and that's my only concern. Our condolences to all the families and school shooting victims. Let's not continue and repeat these tragedies. Remember, the future is ours. Let's make our stand. There you have it, SLZ. I'm Isabella Martinez. Now on to Carissa with more. Thank you, Bella. I agree. The future is what we make it. But on another note, my name is Carissa Trino, and I will be investigating how our campus perceives the topic of mental health. From a student's perspective, do you believe the SLZ campus is a safe place to talk about mental health? Um. I believe SLZ can be a safe place to talk about mental health. We do have the resources, but as far as publicly speaking about it, I feel like the students wouldn't take it maturely enough. And educating ourselves on common mental health challenges that people will experience. Um, people nowadays tend to care about, or about what other people think, so you might get bashed, but I feel like if you were to speak up, um, we have counselors here that you could talk so, to. SLZ can be a safe place if you make it a safe place. As you can see, mental health is more than what meets the eye and should be respectfully seen in a more serious tone. So please, think about what you say as it might have an effect on somebody else. I'm Chris Citrino and back to you guys in the studio. May the victims of all school shootings rest in peace. Our hearts are with you all. Make sure to be aware of your own mental health and others. There's always someone you can talk to. Don't joke about things like this and this should not be taken lightly. That's right. And on that note, that's all we have for you today, Grizzlies. I'm Joe Maradaya. I'm Christina Carl. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching San Lorenzo's Latest.